Hey guys, it's Marco here, back once again from my color screen, bringing you the latest and greatest Android home screen tutorials. Now a lot of people have been asking for this home screen, so I'm going to bring it to you right now. It's by Brian Thand or Tant Roberts, and it is called Hollow Cards. Here it is. Boom. Let us begin with today's tutorial. Believe it. If we have a look closer, this isn't your average five screen Android home screen. If we have a look at our home screen, as you can see, it's got these neat little nine icons there as well as this really cool Android 4.2 clock right here. Now to jump to cross each one of these screens is quite simple thanks to these little awesome icons at the bottom as well as that little triangle right there indicating what page it's on. So say if we want to go into info, it brings up our info page, we've got our status here, we've got our battery, really looks good with these little settings here as well, as well as all of our toggles, so many to mention. It looks really good. Moving on to our play, we've got our entertainment, nice little wallpaper here, as well as our little music controller here, jamming any music that you would want. Jumping off to the news, we've got our news and weather, bringing us our daily forecast, as well as our RSS feeder, really handy. Finally, jumping to our apps, we've got our favorite apps that we can change at will without any hassle whatsoever. Those are just icons. So there we have it. You wanted to see how to recreate this very screen? Well, let us begin with today's tutorial. Okay, so before you start anything, make sure you have these apps over here and over here. They are quite important and needed for the home screen. So you might want to pause the video, get those apps, and then come back when you're ready. Okay, going from a stock Nova launcher, you can also use Apex or Holo, but I can't guarantee that they'll work. So I'm just going to stick to Nova for now. We're going to go into our Nova settings. We're going to go into our desktop settings, desktop grid was a 12 by 7. See, now you need Nova for that massive amount of rows. So a 12 by 7 works very well for this. And go OK. Your width margin, you want it to be on a small setting, but your height margin leave on none. You want to take off shadows. Home screens, you're going to be having five home screens. OK, so now for wallpaper scrolling, this is where it gets a bit tricky. There are two ways of setting up your wallpaper. So what I'll be doing now is taking it and putting it on off. And I'll be showing you the first method and then showing you the second method, whichever works for your phone. You want to take off the tick for label icons. You want to be able to resize all widgets. Widgets overlap, overlap when placing. And that's it for the desktop settings. Next, we want to go back. We want to go into our dock settings. It wants to enable the dock. Our dock pages, once you just want one page. Dock icons, we want five icons. Width margin, we want it to be a medium margin. And then finally, if we bring down our advanced setting, we want it to be a dock as overlay, we want that enabled. Next, we'll go back and go into our look and feel. Now, if you want to change, because we've downloaded now the minimal MIUI, Mi MIUI Go Apex theme, because now you can install it onto your phone. There we have it right there. And this makes things a lot easier when adding icons, but you don't have to install it if you still want your app drawer to remain the same icons. Now for scroll speed and animation speed, I changed them to fast. You can leave them as Nova, but have a play around and see which is preferred for you. Finally, you want to disable the notification bar, the one at the top. And then finally, we can go into the good old gestures and buttons. If you don't have an app drawer, if you don't want one, you can always just use your gestures to swipe up, double tap to bring up your app drawer, or even your notification bar at the top, as well as even setting your home button as an app drawer bring it up okay that is our nova settings complete we're gonna go back now and as you can see it's set up the way we want it so next we'll be moving on to the most important thing the wallpaper okay so for this wallpaper there are two ways of setting it out both are quite different both are, should give you the same results but you always use one if the one doesn't work for you so the first method i'll be using it look, works really well if you have a nexus 4 is simply holding down our home screen you want to go into our wallpapers you want to go into your quick pick wallpaper. You want to look for the folder called images. So we want to select the last one here. It's a little bit grayer than the rest. You want to select that and you want to push this little crop icon right here. And you want to select portrait because obviously you want it to take up the whole screen. Next you'll go OK. And it should look like this with the little line at the bottom. Now from here you want to hold down on the home screen. You want to select widgets. You want to select your desktop visualizer and then a 4x4, make it quite large. Next, you want to hold down on it. You want to resize it so that it takes up the entire screen. Make it a massive Android. Cool, so it should look like this. You want to select it now. So for your select icon, you want to go into your image file, go back into that images folder and then select, it goes in order one, two, three, four, five number of screens. So for the home screen, it's going to be the third one. And you want to select action, you want it to be none. 
just go OK. Now, as you can see, this is designed for a Nexus 4, so let's just zoom in a bit. This little triangle here is not 100% fitting on the line, and it is a little bit blurry. So if this doesn't affect you at all, if you're happy with that, then great. You'll just be adding each one of these desktop visualizers, just changing the image for each screen. As you can see, this is for screen one. As you can see, the indicator is right over there. So if you're cool with having this as your wallpaper and it fits very well for your screen, then great. You don't have to watch the next part where I'll be explaining the wallpaper. If you do not like this at all or it doesn't look right or yeah, you just want a better result for your home screen. Okay, so for this part, we won't be using our desktop visualizer. We're just gonna hold it in there and get rid of it. We wanna go back into our Nova settings. We're gonna go back into our desktop setting and then go into wallpaper scrolling because now we're gonna be turning it on. All right, we're gonna go back now and you can see not much has changed because now we wanna change our wallpaper. We're gonna be using, that's right, multi-picture live wallpaper, which works great for people who don't have a Nexus 4 or it just simply doesn't work that other way. So you want to go into our settings. As you can see, you want to go add individual settings. You want to do that five times, bringing up our five screen settings. Now for each one, you want to go into screen one settings. You want to go into your picture source. You want to select single picture and someone by the name of Gorilla Gorilla. I don't know how to say it, but his name's over there. He's provided us with a Holocard 720 by 1280. Now these work for me. I'm not sure if it was just by chance or maybe Android was just being kind to me. But say for screen one settings, you want to select your first one, obviously, and you want to go crop resize ratio and you want to go show entire picture. Now this worked for me. If not, you might have to resize each one of these images. But yeah, show entire picture worked really well. Now you just want to go back and you want to do screen two settings. Obviously your picture source is going to be the second picture in that folder and you want to do it for all five of these. Once you like the way it looks, transition type, I just left it as none. You want to take off any reflections. And that's about it. You want to just go back now and you want to go set wallpaper. So there it is set up. As you can see, my triangle is now on the line. So I was quite happy with that. Obviously, like I said, if it doesn't fit for you, you might have to do some Photoshopping or even photo editor if you don't have Photoshop or a computer. Great. So once that's done, we're going to be moving on to our dock settings. Okay, moving on to our dock settings. They're going to be really easy to set up. And it's a real handy feature as I'll be showing you right now. We're going to hold down. You want to go into our Nova settings. You want to go jump to page. Now you're going to be selecting one first. Bring it into the first area right there. Hold it in again. Nova settings. Jump to page. Two. And you're going to go three, four, and five. Boom. Hey, and there we have one, two, three, four, five screen jumpers. Obviously what that means is that wherever you are in each one of these pages, you can jump to any page with a single tap on the button so if you want to go to page one we'll be right there page three right there pretty neat so now you want to change these you don't want to have these screen jumper icons you want to hold down on each one of them you want to go select edit you want to tap the icon now you want to go into your icon pack and hopefully you've installed simple text icon creator right there boom it's going to open up your simple text and if you've copied that home file correctly in the beginning it should pop up there saying home you're going to select it now Obviously, you don't want the first one to say home, so you want to just erase it and then type in info like that. You go done and it should say info right there. Now you just go options now. You want to go save icon and you just push OK now. So now it looks like that. It looks pretty cool. I really like this. You want to go into that. Selecting that will bring it up. So there, as you can see, I've done it to each one of these. So tapping into any one of these will bring it up pretty, pretty cool. Next, we're going to be moving on to the minimalistic text widgets. Okay, so for our minimalistic text widgets, there are quite a number to add. But the good thing is that they've already been set up for you. You just might have to change the font. So let us begin. You want to hold down on the home screen. You want to select widgets. And you want to go into minimalistic text. And you want a 5x1. I think you might be just using these for every single one of these widgets. Now you don't worry about any of that. You want to go into restore. Now for the home screen, you're going to be using clock and date. So for the clock, you want to select the clock. You want to say, yes, do it. Now, if you go OK and it doesn't show you your nice Roboto font, you want to go back. You want to select it to open up the editor again and you want to go into global settings, scroll to your fonts folder. And now you want to define the place that you have copied these fonts, those two Roboto fonts to. I'll just put it into my UCCW folder for there. So once that's done, it should 
read it should load it up and if we scroll to our text style it's big and all but it hasn't changed the font so we want to select that we're going to go into our font family as you can see they've now been loaded both a thin light and condensed i'm going to go for a thin we're going to go back so now you'll just go back and okay and now it has added it and it looks much better resize it a bit there we have our time now we're going to be doing that for date Except so for the date, you're going to be using the condensed fonts. And for the headings at the top, say for our favorite applications, if we select it, the font called Roboto Lite was used. Now, obviously, if you don't want it, if you don't like the way it says favorite apps, you want it to say coolest apps or most frequent apps. Once you're in your minimalistic text editor, you want to go into your custom layouts. As you can see, it says favorite applications. So you just want to go static text and rename that as you want. Pretty cool. You just go OK and then it will rename it. So once you have these set up, you want to do it for each one of the home, each one of the screens. You want to say for info, you want your status and settings. These are all minimalistic text right here. Also all just five by ones that you can just resize if you want. Always remember to change the font if you don't like it. There we have entertainment added there. Your news and weather, your favorite applications one. Now we have information, create utilities and communicate that are also all minimalistic text. So there's quite a few to add. Okay, so next we're going to be moving on to our status and settings page. We'll be adding in the battery circle widget as well as the power toggles at the bottom right here. Okay, to start off with, we want to hold down, select widgets, and you want to go into circle battery widget. Doesn't really matter what size you choose. Let's go for a four x four. So we're just going to place it here. Now as you can see, it still doesn't fit too well. And also we might want to resize these just so that they don't stick out. So just going to resize these. Cool, so once those have been resized, we just want to take, obviously I'm just going to bring up the settings now for the battery circle widget. So it looks pretty cool like there. You're going to select it to bring up our options. Background, take that off. Circle, you want to show the circle, show full circle. You want to show the background and you want to make the color a full white just by moving everything to the end there. You want to go OK. For the format, we want to go into di diameter. Now I made it a 65%. This might change according to your phone, so find whatever, find whichever one fits better for you. We go back now, we're going to our text. Our text size as all, you can change it. I made it 20% just to make it a little bit bigger or smaller, depending on what you have. Our colors now, for the normal color, I made it, I just made it a orange like that, as close as I could get it. It's going to go okay. The full circle isn't a complete white, it's slightly off white, it's like a bit of a gray. And that's pretty much it. Next we want to go back, as you can see, it should look like this. Obviously, if it doesn't, you're just going to have to play around with a bit of those, a bit of those settings. Next, we're going to be moving on to our power toggles at the bottom right here. So you just want to hold down on the home screen. You want to go select widgets and you want to look for the widget called power toggles. These are really cool to have as it's so easy to set up. Once you've got the main screen loaded, you want to just first thing is take off the transparency as well as changing the button colors. This one here is the one that is not selected. Obviously, you still want to see it. So you want to make it as opaque as possible and let's make it a little bit off white. Go set color. Now as you can see that's all got that gray effect. And next you want to get rid of these so that there are only five to choose from. So to get it rid of any of them, you want to just select it, go remove, select, remove, select, remove. There we go. We have five. If you don't like any of them, you can just go add toggle, add whatever one you want. And then you can always just rearrange it like that. So next we'll go done. And there we have it. Just need to resize it across one so it looks like that. And there's our first toggle line. Now we're gonna just have to add in three lines and change each one of the toggles. Great, and there's all of our toggles set up. There's our status and settings screen set up. Next, we'll be moving on to the play section right here. Now, here I'm just gonna show you how I've added this image right here. You wanna hold down, you wanna go into your widgets, you wanna go into a desktop visualizer. I think a four by two works quite well. And you'll just place it over there. Here's probably a five by two like that. You wanna just select it now. You wanna go select icon, image file, go back into your images folder. And then you wanna look for that icon right there. Well, image. Select action, you can just go none, unless you really want one, of course and you just go OK and then it'll make it boom like that. Now for these icons, why I suggested using Nova Launcher, if you just hold down on the home screen, select apps and you want to go select multiple. Now all you have to do now is scroll to each one of these, selecting whichever one you want in your play section. Doesn't really matter as long as they're all related to play. Let's see, get some GTA up in there. Once you're done, you just go add and it'll add in all of them into a little tiny box and then you can just easily move them around so it makes this awesome looking grid. Obviously, if you're using another launcher, 
or you don't want to do that method, method you can just go into your app drawer, hold on and any icon and then drag it down and place it wherever you want. For this music control at the bottom, I just used power toggles again and I just look for the icons that look like this. It's just in the, found in the music section and it's pretty cool. Works really, really well. Just a little hint for power toggles, you're able to save your settings and then just restore them. You might just have to change the icons, but all your colors remain the same. Next, we'll be moving on to the news section. Okay, so for our news and weather screen, there are two ways of setting up our weather widget. If we're going to hold down the home screen, select widgets, and you want to go for Iron Sky. Now this way it didn't work for me, you want to go into Iron Sky Cities. You want to change your icons to Symbolicons, text color black, take off your edit and refresh if you want, and then just go OK. From here you just want to hold down and then resize it, just so it fits quite nicely. But as you can see, if I had to resize mine a little bit condensed, it doesn't really show off anything too well. You get that looking good, but my location is terrible. So I just got rid of that one and I just added in individual icons for Iron Sky. So the way I did it is that I just added in the, the temperature widget, the icon widget, and then the forecast widget for Iron Sky. This works well if you don't have a Nexus 4, well the previous one doesn't look as good. Next we'll be moving on to the RSS feed at the bottom. So you just want to hold down, select widgets, and you want to go into simple RSS widget. First thing you want to do is go add RSS feed, and I think it asks you for Google login or something about Google Reader, and you just go OK. So now you can go select one of your previously used feeds. Let's go for my color screen. Go add that, you just add it if you want. And you, then from here, you just need to change your colors, make them all black. You can make the title bold. Background, if you go into it, you want to make that alpha, you, you want it to be completely transparent all the way to that side. Just go OK. Yeah, you can make the sizes also a little bit bigger and maybe news title, bold, whatever you want. Quite a few options to choose from here. So you, once you do, you just push save and you should be able to get it looking like this. Obviously, you add in the little edit icon if you don't like the way it looks and you can always edit it later. Pretty cool. Next, we'll be moving on to the apps page. For the apps page here, I'm not going to really show you how to add any more of this. We've already done most of it and adding in icons is the same process as we did in the play section. You just have to hold down, select apps, and then add in each one of these either individually or in a multiple section like that. What's cool about this is that if you don't like, say, this settings widget right here, you can just get rid of it. Go back into your, go back into your app drawer and then say place, let's place Amazon and put it right there. It's so quick and easy, really, really helpful. And let's end things off with the home screen. We want to go back into our home screen and like with all the other screens that had icons in them, added in multiple icons, placed them in a little grid like that, and there we have it. There's our home screen complete, and that is the video tutorial complete. Hope you've enjoyed it. Sorry it's been a bit long, but there's just been so many elements, so many screens to this setup. I hope you enjoyed it. Please remember to subscribe to the My Color Screen channel, as well as like, comment, share this video. And also don't forget to join our Facebook and Twitter community. Thank you very much guys for watching. This is Marco from My Color Screen, and get to the chopper.